The topic for this lesson is series and parallel AC circuits. The voltage and current both alternate in AC circuits. The sine wave current and the sine wave voltage through a resistor both cross the axis at the same point and in the same direction. Thus the current and voltage are said to be in phase for a resistor. The current passing through an inductor lags the voltage by 90 degrees. Thus there is a phase difference of 90 degrees between the two. Considering the circuit shown having a resistor and an inductor, there is a reactive effect due to the inductor that increases the value of the total resistance. This is called an inductive reactance and is designated by X sub L. A phasor diagram can be drawn. It is possible to indicate phase differences using marks on a circle. However, for convenience, the spokes of the wheel can be drawn using directed lines called phasors. AC voltages, AC currents, or a mixture of AC voltages and currents are phasors. The phasor diagram for this circuit is shown. To find V sub S on the diagram, the following changes can be made. Now that we have a right triangle, we are able to use the Pythagorean theorem, thus V sub S squared equals V sub R squared plus V sub L squared, or V sub S is equal to the square root of V sub R squared plus V sub L squared. Now we know that V sub L is equal to 2 times pi times F times X sub L, where F is the frequency and X sub L is the inductance in ohms. Thus V sub S is equal to the square root of V sub R squared plus the quantity 2 times pi times F times L squared. Theta is equal to the inverse tangent of V sub L divided by V sub R. Since V sub R equals I times R and V sub L equals I times X sub L, V sub S equals I times Z. The total opposition to the current that is in the sum of the opposition with the resistance and reactance is called impedance. Squaring the three above equations, and since we know that V sub S squared equals V sub R squared plus V sub L squared, we get I times Z squared is equal to I times R squared plus I times X sub L squared, or I squared times Z squared is equal to I squared R squared plus I squared times x sub l squared. Solving for z squared we get r squared plus x sub l squared. z is therefore equal to the square root of r squared plus x sub l squared. Theta is equal to the inverse tangent of x sub l divided by r sub l. The impedance diagram can be drawn as shown. When r and x sub l are known we refer to rectangular coordinates. The same information can be expressed in polar form as shown, where z is equal to the square root of r squared plus x sub l squared, and theta is equal to the inverse tangent of x sub l divided by z. Let's look at an example. A series circuit consists of a resistor and an inductive reactance. Calculate the peak value of the total voltage when the peak values of the two components are v sub r equals 4 volts and V sub L equals 3 volts. V sub S equals the square root of V sub R squared plus V sub L squared or the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared equals 5 volts which is the peak value. In the next example a 20 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 30 ohm inductive reactance. Calculate the total voltage required to produce a current having 5 amp peak value. V sub R is equal to I times R or 100 volts, V sub L is equal to I times X sub L or 150 volts, and V sub T is equal to the square root of V sub R squared plus V sub L squared or 180.3 volts peak.